She's the author of Cap and Trade. Now she's got a new title for Climate Gate. She's calling it Email Theft Gate. Senator Barbara Boxer calling for a criminal probe of the hackers who exposed the emails, not the questionable science they may be exposing. One of her Republican challengers for California Senate says that's the wrong move. With us now is Carly Fiorina, former Hewlett Packard CEO. Uh, Carly, thanks for joining us. Um, Okay, so so I, I pointed out that uh, Barbara Senator Boxer is more concerned with the method of which we've exposed these emails rather than what the emails are telling us. You agree or disagree? Well, it may be a legal issue, but it's certainly first and foremost a factual issue. We need to know the facts. And what I find so ironic about Barbara Boxer's outcry over this is that in 2008 she was accusing the Bush administration of a grand conspiracy to cover up global warming. She wanted to know the facts desperately then. Apparently she doesn't think they're very important right now when they don't support her political point of view. The American people deserve to know the facts, whatever they are, and wherever they point so um, okay so now let, let's just take your, your personal situation right here you're the Republican you're running for the Republican uh, nomination to the Senate um, who are you going up is it, is it Chuck DeVore, DeVore is that right I pronounce that name right that's that's correct yes uh, okay so I'm reading this Carly and I, I have to ask you this you know it, it's what I have to do he's been seen as a, a far more conservative or he's at least portraying himself as a more conservative Republic Republican than you do you see that as a risk well, no, because I share the values of Republican primary voters, and anyone who knows me and my record knows that that's the case. That's why I'm very pleased to have received the endorsement of very conservative people here in California, as well as very conservative senators in Washington, D.C., and across the country. I'm a fiscal conservative. I'm a social conservative. But I think the issue that you're talking about today is an example of why we need people with some real-world business experience in the U.S. Senate. Global climate change, whatever the facts are, is an opportunity for mischief making. We can create regulation or legislation that kills jobs and opportunity in this country, or we can take an approach that says, let's make sure that we give American businesses, small, medium, and large, every opportunity to lead the clean green revolution, and today we are doing the opposite. So, uh, Carly, do you, do you see which is a bigger risk to American business? Is it, uh, you know, is it a cap and trade bill, or is it some regulations on, on carbon um, regula from the regulation side? Which one's more concerning, or are they both? Well, I think I think they're both extremely concern concerning if they are uh, created with a view on only what do we have to do to curb global greenhouse emissions without knowing the facts as opposed to being focused on how do we create opportunity for US business let me give you a very clear example very quickly in Texas recently a big wind farm was turned up guess where the wind turbines came from and were manufactured China it is virtually impossible these days to build a new manufacturing facility in my home state of California or across this country credit isn't there the regulations are ridiculous the tax burden is ridiculous let's focus on making it as easy as possible for businesses to become energy efficient and for innovators and entrepreneurs to succeed in becoming the leaders in the world in the clean green revolution and oh by the way we need more nuclear power we need more natural gas we need to motivate people in a positive way to become energy and efficient all that means more opportunity not less Carly you, you ran a, a big multinational corporation uh, Hewlett Packard what about these executives at AIG today that announced they may leave the company if their bonus is in, isn't protected in 2009 and 2010? How would you handle something like that? Well, you know, first, I think business people need to understand why the American people are so outraged by some of these stories. I've written many op-eds on this subject. Uh, when you have executives who fly down in their corporate jets and ask for American taxpayer to, money to bail them out, of course people are upset. On the other hand, the private enterprise system works. Competition works. And we set salaries in this country based upon the private market, the free market system. When the government starts getting involved and telling people how much they can make, that's a big problem. So 
People need to be rewarded for their efforts. That's what this country is all about. But business people also need to understand why taxpayers get outraged when they're making, you know, $100 million paychecks and still asking for taxpayer bailout money. All right, Carly, real quick, we're running out of time. I hate to do this here with, with so little time left. You're going to have to look uh, a little bit more conservative for your primary and then uh, move back to the moderate side for a run against Barbara Boxer. Is that right? No, I don't think it's right at all. I think what I need to do both in the primary and in the general election is make sure people understand who I am. I share conservative values. I am a fiscal conservative. And the reason that I can win in California is because the number one issue on Californians' minds right now, regardless of their party affiliation, is jobs. And the number two issue on their minds is out of control federal government spending. And in general, California voters are frankly tired of professional politicians, and they'd like someone with a little common sense and a track record of actually getting something done right. to come to Washington and help get things done on their behalf. Carly Fiorina, thank you very much. Former CEO of HP, also U.S. Senator, primary candidate on the Republican side. Thanks.